Wonderful is your day today because it is Rhapsody time, reality time. We welcome you again, Saints of God, as we present you with the article for the 12th of July by Pastor Chris entitled, Stronger Every Day. Oh, hallelujah. The opening verse from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 reads, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. There is no better time to be strong in the Lord, taking advantage of all His might than in these last days. You have to be strong in the Spirit. Paul the Apostle in writing to the church in Ephesus said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. You can see this in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. How important this is for us today. There will be a time of testing in your life, and in that testing period, you must remain in the Lord. There may be so much happening in your life, the challenges may be fierce, and the storms raging hard, but be strong in the Lord, in His grace. He said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And you can read this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. The word says in Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, He that endureth to the end shall be saved. You have to not just finish, but finish stronger than how you started. That is the path of the righteous. It is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter onto the full day. And you can read this in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18 in the English Standard Version. In Christ, we get stronger. The glory continues to increase. It is from faith to faith, glory to glory, and grace heaped up upon grace. Hallelujah! That is the life He has given us. As long as you are strong in the Lord, keeping His word in your heart and in your mouth, you will continually walk in victory and dominion. Yes, there are tests, trials, and challenging times in our journey of faith. But the Bible says in Proverbs 24 verse 10, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. To gripe and cower when situations challenge your faith is to checkmate your chances of promotion. Recall what the Spirit says in James chapter 1 verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Hallelujah! He knows that victory is in our spirit. Never be overwhelmed by any situation, for there is a strengthener in you, the Holy Spirit. And in Him, by Him, and through Him, you have overcome. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. Praise God! Wow, that was beautiful. Even just listening to that stirs your spirit to take charge of whatever challenges might come your way and maintain your glow. Glory to God! Right where you are, I would like to lead us in this prayer as you say this after me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for granting me, according to the riches of your glory, to be strengthened with might by your spirit in my inner man. I am continually strengthened from within and invigorated with miracle working ability. In Jesus' name, Amen. As always, our man of God encourages each one of us to study these verses further for more insight and understanding on the teaching from 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 10 and Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 to 16. Praise the Lord! Today we learned that we can look at any of life's challenges we face as an opportunity to strengthen our faith and put to proof the Word of God in our lives. Hallelujah! And you were predestined to win always. As you practice this today, you may share this article to those in your sphere of contact by clicking on the share button. And if you have not already subscribed to this channel, we welcome you to do so. So you won't miss a single day of these words of life. Like our video to let others know it was worth hearing. And tune in again tomorrow because remember, you are blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ 
the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.